In this video, we'll learn how to obtain the vibrational spectrum of a crystal structure using Quantum Spresso IR Raman module that is recently employed in Material Square platform. So before we go to the right application of the module, we will just learn simple identification of these terminology. So both infrared or it's implied as IR spectroscopy and Raman spectroscopy are two vibrational spectroscopic techniques that provide information about molecular vibration, which can be used for sample identification and quantification. So the main difference in here, in terms of the interaction with molecules, Raman spectroscopy examine how molecules scatter the light, whereas infrared spectroscopy measure the absorption of infrared uh, light by the molecules. So as in shown in here, it's about a scattering and small uh, portion there would be inelastic of the light, while in the comparison of the uh, infrared spectroscopy, it's mainly about the absorption. The second uh, difference between these two spectroscopy techniques that in Raman spectroscopy the energy of the scattered light change due the molecular vibration while in infrared spectroscopy the energy of the absorbed light match the energy needed to excite molecular vibration the, the last one is the, the type of the information that we can gain from those two techniques in Raman spectroscopy we can get information about the molecular bond and structure including chemical composition symmetry and uh, crystal uh, properties uh, in other hand that infrared spectroscopy uh, it's used to identify functions groups present in molecule and to determine molecular connectivity. So let's just move to the actual application of this module. Okay, now let's show how we can obtain the Raman spectrum of crystal structure. Uh, go to the start simulation now on the material square platform. Go for a new work in your station here. And then you can use, for example, the database by selecting silicon in here. And you will see all available unit cells for your case. So you can select this one or other unit cells. But for me, I would use another method just to teach you. Maybe we can use a crystal in here. Okay, so uh, I will select 3.87 angstrom and it will be, for example, BCC structure will be silicon okay now i got this kind of unit cell but i have to change using the edit window as per the request of the uh, settings i usually maybe not first let's let's just change the let's parameter in here it has to be 60 degree for each in this structure so i would like to change also the setting for the xyz for the two silicon atoms the first one is on the x-axis this value the second value will be on the y-axis for the first silicon and the third coordinate on the z-axis will be like this one for the second atom we would like to change it like this way the next one will be this one and the last z axis for the second silicon atom will be this one and now you have all the setting and just apply you can see that you have generated the unit cell as per your request however maybe you would wonder how we can change these values this is uh, what we used to do and optimize after the structure uh, fully optimization with the dft and this is if you are using for example the database structure you can optimize the structure however then the next step we have to do simulation with dft and the first step would be structure optimization and then you just go Go for the general connect your structure and you will see all the calculation settings in here that we have to do energy optimization so you just select the precision with the high you have to do full ionic and cell optimization of the structure and in here uh, you have to change actually the energy cut of the wave function and the energy cut of the uh, density uh, for example in our case usually we can select this value to be 50 and this value uh, from 4 to 10 times of the, this value so this usually we make it around 4 and more but I will just keep it as it is for the concern of the speed of the calculation our simulation today and the same time you need also to increase your k point maybe the best choice would be 20 20 20 in here but again for the uh, cause of the calculation sitting and speed just to show you the example i will keep it as the sitting value initial sitting so the best way is to name your calculation here i will name it like this way just to distinguish between the later on step just go and submit your calculation in here i will make my job name as this way and then i will submit submit on the start job you will wait until the job is submitted to the server okay after the job is submitted to the server it will change from prepare status to be a running status and just wait until calculation is done now you can uh, make update and refresh after the structure fully optimized we will go for the simulation we have to do the ir raman calculation and we need to connect to our structure and you have to understand here some point so the calculation here started with the scf calculation and uh, this is linked from quantum 
Nespresso after the structure builder and following with the phonon calculation that we need to do of course in this kind of IR calculation and Raman calculation uh, after end of this one we have to do uh, post processing using the uh, Dynamax and this is uh, what is actually done during this kind of step calculation you have to assure that some of the calculation settings here to be as uh, non-metallic condition where occupation is fixed and we have to assure that uh, absence of spin polarization with n spin equal one this is kind of fixed and we have to assure also this is norm conserving sc nc type of lda pseudo uh, potential only so such as uh, if you are considering metal uh, occupation has to be smearing and uh, for considering using pbe functional uh, ultra soft or pow this is not possible with ir uh, raman calculation and then just submit your job in similar way and i will call it this way just start the job it will be shown in your uh, task bar in here it will be shown and the status will be changed later on into the running and it will be finished after that so after it's done you will see that the bar is changed with the green color that's mean the calculation is done successfully you go for the analysis and you will see these kind of result and we can see that the three vibrational mode converged at uh, 513.85 one over centimeter as a frequency so you can see that also the force vector is shown in this graph you can keep this uh, atoms to be animated into the direction of the force vector and you can change and simulate and observe your calculation how it's done and you can see this kind of uh, graph and I would just like to mention one note before we finish this uh, video that in material square uh, material square actually offers pseudo dojo as a dedicated uh, norm uh, conservist uh, type pseudo potential library so you just be assured that is actually shown when you are applying uh, the IR Raman calculation thank you so much